This is my second experiment with Nisi tube. Finally, I was able to make two Nisi tube can display number. In this video, it will count from 0 to 59, which is represented for minute and second of clock. I use Arduino Uno as a main controller to control displaying. Nisi tube needs high voltage up to 170 volt DC to light on. So I use DC stable modem which will convert from 12 volt DC to 170 volt DC. Isolation between Arduino Uno and high voltage DC stable modem, I use opto isolation chip from Toshiba TLP627. Let's go in detail to see how it's made. Before coming each step, please help me to subscribe my channel. Your help will give me a great motivation for next video. Thank you. Nisi tube is a kind of neon lamp which will have inside 10 electrodes represented for number from 0 to 9. So backside has many pinout. I used isolated copper wire from old transformer to connect with pinout. I really love this copper wire because of small dimension, high voltage isolation, and easy for soldering. This tube needs only 0.5 mA to light on, so small size of this copper wire can totally support the current. One more thing, copper wire will help to reduce cable size and also easy to be laid out. Soldering for 11 pinout is not problem for me. It takes me about 3 minutes to finish it. This is cable for breadboard, which will be connected to head end of copper wire. I will prepare 11 segments, each segment is about 2 cm. I took a little clay from my kit to make holder for cable. I found that this way is super easy for soldering head and copper wire to breadboard cable. It takes me about 3 more minutes to soldering on 11 segment to copper wire. After finish soldering, I will twist on copper wire to make it small and ready to use with breadboard. I really love this copper wire. It is small and easy to be formed. It will help me to reduce cable load in this project. The important part of this project is this opto isolation chip TLP627. It can isolate up to 300 volt DC. I will use it to light on Nixie tube via Arduino Uno. One chip contains four opto coupler inside. This project needs three chips which will have 12 opto couplers. Let's take a look at circuit design. All number of two Nixie tube is connected as matrix. By matrix connection, we only need 12 output from Arduino Uno to control 20 lights of two Nixie tube. 
so we will need 10 octocoupler in column and 2 octocoupler in row. Multiply by row and column can manage on 20 lines of 2 Nixi tube. In order to light on one number, we turn on related octocoupler. In order to light on two number, we turn on one number, then off it, then turn on another number. By turn on and off quickly, our human eyes will see it as a permanent view. The Arduino code will do this turn on and off sequence. The code and circuit design can be downloaded at video description of this video. After this experiment, I will make this tube with 6 number in next video. In order not missing any video, please subscribe my channel to get newest video. See you next time.